four votes from Governor Steve vetoes from Governor Steve Bullock will remain in place after state lawmakers failed to get enough support to override them. Now, legislators voted by mail. Two thirds of both the House and Senate had to vote yes to override the vetoes and make the bills law. The closest vote came on Senate Bill 71, aimed at reducing prescription drug costs by putting restrictions on pharmacy benefit managers. It fell short by five votes in the House and five votes in the Senate. The other vetoes include bills to create a tax abatement on new broadband projects, provide income tax credits for businesses, and provide free speech protection on public college campuses.